Hey Virgo, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? It's been a minute. I haven't been on here since last month, right? First of the months last month. I have been so busy. I've had three different clients fly me out to do special um, things for them and, and their friends and their family. I've helped my brother move. I have, I've just been so insanely busy. So I apologize for this being um, nine days late, okay? But it still is applicable because it's from whenever you resonate with it until whenever you don't, right? So timing really isn't a big thing in tarot, but I know everybody lines up and expects their readings, right? Um, so this is your reading. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Um, as usual, this is not your reading, okay? If you would like to understand how general readings on YouTube apply to your life, there is a five-minute link in the box below that will explain everything. So if you see yourself in this reading, understand that you might recognize aspects of what's going on in your situation, but this reading isn't for you. It's just not for you. If you find that you need um, wisdom, guidance, understanding, clarification, um, please re reach out and have somebody read your cards, right? You can, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Again, link in the box below. Um, or your favorite tarot card reader, okay? But don't make a life-altering decision on a general tarot card reading. That's just insanity, okay? All right, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You enter into this reading in the hangman energy, right? Pausing, surrendering. Oh, and y'all don't judge me. I need to, my nails, I like I said, I've been just like crazy, so low priority. So don't judge me. <laughs> Virgo. The hangman energy, right? Pausing, processing, thinking, not actually taking action yet, but thinking about the situation at hand. What's the situation at hand? The situation at hand is you need to make a regretful but necessary transition away from something, right? And you're in this hangman energy, really putting the wood to the fire, trying to figure out what it is you're going to do about this situation. You want to bolt, right? You want to bounce. You're like, mm, out, out, out. But you're pausing for a minute and you're thinking about some things. Valor. This is a card about personal bravery in the face of danger, right? That's what you're looking at here. And I can tell you right now, you're not in danger, okay? Not like, like in mortal danger, so don't freak out. Um, at least not in this reading. You're not, again, personal reading. So, Valor, facing danger with personal bravery. And that's what you're doing in this hangman energy, right? You're figuring out what the hell you're going to do. Oh, and I swear, if you don't like it, go someplace else. You're trying to bring some peace into your life, right? Desperately need to bring some peace to this situation because, like I said, you're, you you want to head for calmer waters. This, this is no bueno for you anymore, right? Want to bring some peace into your life. And you're about to make a decision, right? About to make a decision. That's why you're in the hangman energy, right? Because you know that this decision is irrevocable. This is the judgment card. This is an absolution to a situation. There is no going back once this decision is made. Futility. What is futile? What is, what is not even worth the effort? What is futile? Well... In the Nine of Swords in reverse, you feel hopeless that there could ever be any serious commitment in a Two of Cups relationship. That's, uh, that's the crux of what's going on here, right? That is the crux. You feel that it is futile, hopeless to have commitment in a Two of Cups relationship. Two of Cups relationship, unified love, partnership, um, a re, a, an important relationship, okay? Could be love, could be family, could be work, could be anything, okay? But you feel that it's futile to even try because it's not going to make, right? That's what you're thinking about in that hangman energy. That's what the judgment card is about, trying to bring some peace into your life because you're trying to make this work and it's not going, right? The Empress, the Empress. You are not being treated the way that you think that you should be treated, Virgo. You're just not doing it. You're, 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 not, you're not accepting 
the kind of treatment that has been given to you by the other party of this Two of Cups relationship. And Virgo is like, you know what? I am the Empress. How dare you do this to me? Magician in reverse. This is manipulation. Queen of Cups in reverse is emotional insecurity. And the Four of Cups is contemplation and reevaluation. So somebody is, it's also about untapped talents, right? Which kind of leans towards, for me in this reading right now, kind of lean towards a feeling of not being appreciated, right? Not, not being appreciated for what you bring to the table. Somebody's trying to manipulate you. It's creating a lot of emotional insecurity for you with the Queen of Cups in reverse. And you are um, contemplating and reevaluating the whole damn situation. Science. I love this card. This card is about being accountable. This card is about being presented with irrefutable knowledge that you cannot ever again attribute any kind of debauchery in the situation with misunderstanding or stupidity. Okay. This is a card about knowing. What do you know? What do you know here, Virgo? You know that you are the fucking empress. That is your irrefutable knowledge. You know that you're the empress. You know that you're not being treated well. You're being manipulated. It's causing emotional insecurity and you need to contemplate and reevaluate the whole situation. That's what you know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Irrefutable scientific information. Can't argue with it, right? <clears throat> Death. You, you, this card tells me you're going to put an end to the situation. This isn't about transformation or change. This is about death. It's about killing it and putting an end to the entire situation. And it's clarified by the chariot. Talking about Virgo, gearing up to roll on out. Gearing up to roll on out, Virgo. Tower in the center of this reading. This entire reading is about upheaval and chaos. Because you found out about a third party situation or there is some kind of third energy involved here that doesn't need to be here. If this is a love relationship, obviously it's another person. If this is a work situation, maybe they're bringing somebody in and you're training them, training them, right? But really what's going to happen is they're going to take your job, okay? Whatever this is, it's a third energy. Perhaps it's a friend, your best friend, and they've met somebody and they're kind of hanging out with somebody else, right? Whatever it is, it's a third energy and it's caused upheaval and chaos in your life. To the King of Swords in reverse. This tells me several things. This tells me, number one, you're pissed off. This tells me, number two, that the person that you're dealing with um, is, is abusing their power, right? Abusing their power in the relationship, manipulating you, causing problems for you, making you feel emotionally insecure. This is in the center of your reading, upheaval and chaos because of a third energy that doesn't belong. Somebody is misusing their power. They're being uh, abusive with the power that they hold in the relationship. Maybe it's the power over your feelings, right? And this also tells me that you're angry, angry. The star hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, right? And you've contemplated this. You've contemplated, is there hope for this relationship, right? Should I have faith in this relationship? Is this relationship my purpose? Is there purpose in this relationship, right? Can renewal, can we renew this? Can we save this, right? But the seven of cups in reverse comes in and says, illusion, illusion, not happening, illusion to the knight of pentacles in reverse, feeling stuck, right? So what these three cards say is that you feel stuck, right? About making the decision to have, to, to transition out of this relationship. You feel stuck because 
you're stuck on the fact that there could be hope or faith or renewal in this situation. But the, the, the Seven of Cups in reverse right here says illusion. Not happening. Illusion. Pleasure. This is a card about something being nice to have but not absolutely necessary, okay? It's nice to have, but it's not absolutely necessary. Oh, my bad. That's down here. My bad, my bad, my bad. Pleasure. Pleasure is about being gratified, right? It's about being satisfied. It's about being gratified, right? And this card tells me that you love this person, if you don't love them, if this is work or something like that, they definitely bring you a great sense of satisfaction somehow, some way, okay? But this person, this situation is toxic. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. To the two of pentacles, thinking maybe we can balance this. Maybe we can work this out. Maybe we can, maybe we can prioritize this and work on this relationship, right? 